I gave her a picture of that and uh, she said, well, maybe someday you could become an artist. And from hearing that from her and also my mom saying, you know, Tim, you're a very good drawer. Maybe you could do something with that someday. So I'd say way back in grade, grade one or grade two was my first inspiration of becoming an artist and I've been chasing it ever since. Um, mm. This piece here, I was working on this at the Beaverbrook when I was an artist in residency there and the same day that I finished this, sadly, um, Gord Downing passed away. And for me, he's um, he's always been, you know, he's been there for our people. He's talked a lot. He's helped a lot of First Nations people. And his native name is Walks With Stars. So that's what I named this and hope to touch it to his family sometime, actually, to get this to their family. I think it belongs there. Mm. Um, this here is the Wolf Warrior Mask. It's the first mask that I've done. I've uh, done it with the uh, birch bark and I mended uh, two sides together. That's all the stitching and... Um, it's my way of doing three-dimensional mass. I can't no longer carve. So I've kind of took this as uh, my new way to do 3D work. Mm -hmm. And this mask here comes from sand from the St. John River with the little, my children there. We spent some time on the islands in the St. John River. It's very, we love spending time there, kayaking, hanging out. And um, they gave me some sand. They told me special sand one day, and they said, well, maybe we, maybe we can do something at home with that, do some kind of art with it. So from there, I kind of took off into using that as a new medium. Mm -hmm. see a lot of uh, people branching off into doing videos and things like that and doing um, Natalie Sapier um, as, as one. You know, she's doing a lot of performances now and things like that at the Playhouse level, so it's really exciting. And um, Ned Bear doing with the mass, you know, that's more from out west kind of feel but he's really brought mass to canada like not canada but i mean the maritimes yep. so i think that it can also say a thousand words or more so with my art coming up i like to do some maybe like a show outside and just to show like how the attachments of mother earth and how everything comes together how everything's attached right through from the trees to the roots to the you know our job here as uh, First Nations people was supposed to be set up for the next seven generations of uh, humans living here to help this world sustain itself. So one of our biggest jobs was to be between the ground and the moon. He who walks at night, we're supposed to keep the balance of that. That's the job of the humans from the part of the creation story. Hmm. 